Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So today, it's the day of the struggle. And also the very first thing I'm going to do is, we got a new ability last time for defeating Twilight Thorn, which is Guard. You know, that ability that we learned in Kingdom Hearts 1, like, at the very end of the game for some reason? Yeah. Like, in Kingdom Hearts 1, they're, like, guarding. You don't really need to do that. But after that, they were, after Chain of Memories, they were like, wait a second. Guarding attacks is kind of like a fundamental part of any action RPG. Maybe we should give that to people, like, at the beginning of the game. So, yeah, we can now guard attacks. That's gonna be important, especially in critical mode. Anyhow, hey, Setzer. I love your code. You here for my autograph? Sorry, but I'm busy. Why don't you go listen to the referee in front of the board and explain the rules? Whatever. I can take you. Back in the day, I used to practice battling my friends. Practicing's the only way you'll get stronger. Cypher might be a good opponent. Okay. All participants should hear the rules. Listen to the rules? I better listen. You have to in order to play the struggle. You already know the rules, but a refresher can't hurt. It's easy. You've each got 100 orbs. Attack to take away your opponent's orbs. That's all you have to do. Land a hit and your opponent will drop orbs. But if you're hit, you'll be the one losing orbs, so watch out. Keep collecting orbs. When the match is over, the participant with the most orbs wins. When you're ready, go talk to the tournament promoter. He's in the ring. So yeah, it's all about not really, like, killing your opponent because your opponents actually don't have health bars. It's all about taking their orbs. And that's where playing on critical mode is actually nice because we start with the draw ability which will magnetically attract the enemy's orbs to us. So that makes collecting orbs a lot easier. However, on critical mode it's tough because even though you can't defeat their, your enemy by taking out their HP, they can defeat you by taking out your HP. And on critical mode they'll kill you in about three hits. So yeah. Hainer loses his cool easily and opens himself up to attack. Just watch for your chance, and you should win. Just don't tell him I said anything. Pence is totally on our side. I hope you brought po bought potions and stuff. You'll need them when fighting Hainer. If you don't have enough cash, you can always do some more work. <laughs> I can already be like, hold on, hold on, stop, stop. We can't start the struggle. I don't have the cash for potions. Let me go deliver some papers, and <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to you. It's me. <laughs> Ro rock says, look, okay, you're weird. Was he? He wasn't that weird in Final Fantasy IX. Later, guys, I'm not gonna struggle today. I'm gonna go home and cry. Cypher's gonna win, hands down, you know? Um, uh, maybe. Victory. Struggle battles are nice, but nothing beats a good street brawl. <laughs> Cypher, you are totally the kind of guy who's gonna, like, start- well, he already has a gain. You're gonna get, like, a violent gain in the future, though. Win or lose, no grudges. Challenge him. This is an optional fight you can do. Defeat Cypher. Don't call me a loser. Yeah, completely optional fight here. I don't think you actually get anything from doing this, but... What the heck? You can fly? That's aerial recovery with that I did. <laughs> did you just say, isn't this romantic? Dude, I don't feel the same way about you, okay? <laughs> isn't this romantic? He's actually kind of tough. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, we get nine experience. So if you really want, if you are dedicated enough, you can literally reach max level right here just by fighting Cypher over and over again. I don't even want to know how many hours that would take to do, but you can. Lucky. Cypher wasn't fighting for real, you know? He won't hold back next time. You think you're tough just because you won? Next time I won't hold back. Oh, never mind. You can't just fight him infinitely. But we got nine experience points. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm cool, you're not. I'm awesome, you're not. I'm awesome, you're not. So yeah, you can literally just go around and... <laughs> you can literally just go around, get some jobs, and I believe this guy has a shop now. Once you're ready, climb in and talk to the promoter, okay. Yeah. I did, I beat up Cypher, he was very, very easy. Um, I thought there was an item shop around here. Don't hold back. 
I wasn't going to camo pant boy. Is that the item shot? Oh, drink. Examine. Struggle battle secret. Deplete all your opponent's HP for a big opportunity. Oh, they do have an HP meter, but when they run out of HP, you don't just instantly win. They just basically sit there and you can wail on them and take their orbs. <laughs> yeah, I love, they're very nice. They're like, well, until Roxas is very important. If he's not joining the struggle, we can't have the struggle. <laughs> Whoa, you just appeared. I'm so old! I, oh, for real? That's right, everyone's like, I mark shop still closed. Alright, I think after we actually, like, do the first battle, we can buy potions. We still have free potions anyways, so... <laughs> Sandlot. Can I use a skateboard? No, that's against the rules. Alright, time to begin. I hope you've practiced battling someone. Yeah, I beat, I beat up uh, Cypher. No biggie. I'm ready. Let's get started. Are you ready to check on Hainer? Yes. He seems nice. Hey, sorry about yesterday. What? You still worried about that? You need to learn to let that stuff go. I've got a lot on my mind. Sorry, man. Wait, what am I sorry for? Your attitude problem? <laughs> They're total bros, though. I like it. Our first match of today's struggle tournament will be between Roxas and his best friend, Hainer. I thought Pence was my best friend. Alright, Hainer's a joke. Rules, battle on op an opponent for control of 200 orbs. Whoever has the most orbs at the end is the winner. Attack the opponent to drop the orbs. Watch the opponent's movements and counter them. Whenever possible, don't let the enemy counterattack. One strategy is to run around until time runs out. Also, if you get control of all 200 orbs, then the battle's instantly over and you win. So that's kind of what you want to do. Yeah, finishing plus and draw are both really good for this fight. Finishing, because fin combo finishers allow you to d take a lot of orbs at once, and draw lets you pick them up very easily. So yeah, Hainer's just a joke. There we go, all 200. We win, Hainer sucks! <laughs> and the winner is... Roxas! By a landslide! Not even a friendship will slow this kid down, and Hainer put up a great fight too. Not really. <laughs> I lost. Oh, I can't believe it. I guess I taught you well. I had a lot of fun fighting you. <laughs> yeah, well I didn't, wise guy. <laughs> hey, let's find a way to cheer you up. Nah, that's all right. Out of the way. <laughs> you in a rush to lose? Ooh. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> That's creepy. Oh yeah, Cypher versus me. Don't mess with your elders. Whoa! Just look at those sparks fly. <laughs> I guess Cypher didn't expect to fight one of his own boys. Dang! When did Vivi get so tough? Whoa, he's like as aggressive as Yoda. You're mine! I... I'm not sure what just happened. Um, but the winner is... BB! <laughs> positively blistering comeback! Holy cow! Don't mess with VV. He's powerful. <laughs> That's not VV. Huh? Thrash him. 
sore loser much? <laughs> or is he actually onto something? Because Vivi's acting very weirdly. <laughs> also, look, he has a zipper in his hat. Like I said, whoever designed the character models, they love zippers a lot. It looks like Cypher's withdrawn from the struggle for third place. So I'm in third now? Oh, baby! <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> Cypher just rage quits because he lost to Vivi. <laughs> Andy Bernard does not lose contests, he wins them, or quits them because they're unfair. That's basically Cypher. Also, so it's like, you got, you, you lost for the first round, so you're in last place, even though, like, because like, it was like, the bottom, the bottom brackets are Roxas versus Hayner, and then Vivi versus Cypher. They're, they're presumably all on the same level. It's like, yeah, but we decided that Hayner would have to fight first, and he lost. So he's technically behind Cypher. The only reason Cypher went lower is because he quit. That doesn't seem right. And, all right. <laughs> Anyways, is the item shop open yet? You defeated me, Roxas. You know what that means, don't you? You better not lose. Something's not right with Vivi. But if you can avoid his attacks, you should have an opportunity to hit him. Okay. He's like slippy. Cypher seems to be taking his loss to Vivi pretty hard. He went to the back alley again. He went back to Sulk. Alright, let's try to cheer him up. Cheater. Vivi isn't that tough, you know? This has got to be a mistake. <laughs> you got something to say? Feel free to step up any time, kid. Win or lose, no grudges. Yeah, challenge him. Maybe you can just challenge him infinitely. You just have to leave and come back. Oh, dang. Dang, he's actually... I think he's a bit tougher this time. This is the most romantic fight in the game. It's true. Hurrah! <laughs> well, that won't cheer him up. That won't cheer him up. Lucky. Alright. <laughs> hey, Vivi. Oh, you're still weird. Okay. <laughs> that was a fun match, but don't let it get down your guard after you get an orb. One strategy is to flee so you aren't attacked. Nothing works against me, though. <laughs> this guy is such a butt. Alright. It's time for the final match. Are you ready? Are you ready to take on Vivi? So there, so there were four people who were like, Yeah, I want to participate in the struggle. There's only four people? And it's this big of an event? You'd think there'd be more people. No. And apparently Vivi was like a surprise. Like, what? No one expected him to try out. I mean, oh, they're... They did say that there were preliminaries, though. All right, let's take on Vivi. He's the toughest struggle fight. Keep it clean, fellas. <laughs> I love his waddle. And now the match you've been waiting for: Roxas versus Vivi. So Vivi's pretty tough. He cartwheels around and he has some very stylish, stylistic, stylish moves. Yeah, block his attacks and then you hit the opening. You can't do the double finisher on him though, he's too far away. Because he's very lightweight, so the first finisher sends him to flying. Nice, powerful move, Vivi. I'm impressed. It's not enough to save you. I love his sound effects. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> This again, Vivi? Are you up? <laughs> yeah, Rox is your. <laughs> You're behind this, Vivi, huh?
Oh, I guess Cypher was right. It's not me. Again? Again? Also, I love this song so much. Defeat all the mysterious enemies. This song is called Tension Rising. And as much as I love it, I think it's better in the PS4 version with the not remastered soundtrack. Also, Dusks are easier now that we've got Guard. Goodbye. So that's a pretty simple mob fight. Nothing you can't handle. Roxas, all right. Fight, fight, fight. You really don't remember. It's me. You know, Axel. He's back! Axel? Talk about Blank or the capital B. Man, oh man. Even the Dusks aren't gonna crack this way. Wait a sec. Tell me what's going on. This town is his creation, right? Which means we don't have time for a Q&A. You're coming with me, conscious or not. Then you'll hear the story. Well, this is just all sorts of weird, isn't it? Uh-oh. <sighs> What's going on? Ask every Kingdom Hearts fan trying to understand the plot. <gasps> Number 13. Roxas. The Keyblade's chosen one. Okay, fine. You asked for it. And now, we get our first legitimately difficult fight. Axel. That's more like it. He's not as bad as he was in his second fight in Chain of Memories, but he, he's not pulling any punches around. He can kill you pretty easily. Oh, then when he does this, you better start blocking. Alright, cool. We didn't even have to use a potion. And we get scanned for defeating him. We can finally see enemies HP. It's you, Diz. So it was you. Roxas! This man speaks nonsense. Roxas! Don't let him deceive you! Roxas! 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 Did he actually scream that out loud? No, he didn't. <laughs> what? What just happened? I don't know! How did I get here? Phoebe's high pitched and squeaky. Roxas! That was weird, so like a dusk was possessing him. Gentlemen, Roxas! Our new top struggler! <laughs> Struggler is right. I thought there was a place you could buy potions here. Maybe you have to lose a fight in order to get it? <laughs> oh boy. Roxas, it's starting. <laughs> Roxas, all the teenage girls are freaking out over how cute and awesome Setzer is. Nah. <laughs> I mean, let's take a look at you. You got the weird. Oh wait, maybe those are scars. All right, I can't fault you for scars. All right, he does. Is that is that a Grim Reaper belt? That's pretty great. 
He's rocking the purple shoes. Actually, you know what? He looks pretty cool, all things considered. Uh, his hair is like kind of weird. Oh wow, he has long hair. I didn't realize that. Maybe cut off like everything below your ears. But maybe that could be cool. Or maybe I have absolutely no taste. So I'm actually going to make a save here. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many folders I'm going to keep. I think there's 99, so I could literally just create a new folder each time. Anyhow, I want to make the save there, though. Oh, first, though, got to equip scan. Contests are kind of like flipping a coin. Let's have a go at it, shall we? Keep it clean, right? You stay the same thing. You stay the same thing. Yeah, I thought there was an item shop. You're facing the champion Sensor next. He lets his guard down a lot, so keep an eye out for your chance to strike. Watching Setzer, I've noticed he has an attack pattern. No, really? <laughs> if you figure it out, it should make him fighting him a lot easier. You're not even gonna help me? It seems Setzer trained hard for this tournament. You too should be prepared when you face him, Roxas. Why did I enter that competition? And why is everyone giving me the cold shoulder? Oh, poor Vivi. He's probably not... Sensor probably hates him now. Cheater. Alright, you guys stay the same thing. Alright. Female Riku. Rika. Alright. And now for the title match. Are you all set? Are you ready to take on Sensor? So the thing is, I'm already the champion, so I've already won the trophy. This is just kind of like a bonus fight that they do for the fun. Let's take on Sensor. You two, play fair now. You're at the top of the bracket. There's only room for one up here. Well, <laughs> may the best man win. Hey, Rucksack. How about you throw the match for me? Roxas, focus! Let me win, and I'll make it worth your while. Get real! Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so like I said, we've already won the trophy, so whether we lose or win against Setzer, it doesn't affect the story. However, he is telling the truth when he says, if we let him win, he will indeed make it worth our while. So, depending on whether you win or lose against Setzer, you will get a different prize. If you beat Setzer, you get a piece of armor called the Champion's Belt, which gives you like 10% elemental resistance to fire, ice, and lightning attacks, I think. Which sounds pretty great, except, like I've said before, critical mode, your defenses don't really matter all that much, so that's actually not very good. And if you lose to Setzer, he will give you a medal, which is an accessory you can equip, and that gives you plus one strength. That's actually pretty nice. So if you're playing on critical mode, I actually recommend you lose to Setzer. And the funny thing is, like, if you're not playing on critical mode, Setzer is, like, laughably easy. Like, you have to try to lose against him. On critical mode, he's actually kind of formidable, just because of how much damage he deals. Anyhow. Roxas, our underdog hero, versus Setzer, our defending champion. I'm going to try to beat him. The winner of this match will be the true champion. And whatever, I'm going to basically... <laughs> for a whole year, folks. <laughs> it's not about the winning. He's right. You're wrong. It's not about the winning, it's about the gloating, the rubbing their noses into it, the na 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 na, we beat you, that comes with the winning. Also, wow, dude, you're, you got an attitude problem. And that was a big mistake. <laughs> My life is a chip in your pot. <laughs> My life is a chip in your pot. Yeah, so he actually, like, he has fast attacks and he does deal a decent amount of damage. And also, he can fly. And yeah, we can see he does indeed have a health bar. I'm gonna pop a potion. <laughs> like I said, on like any other difficulty, uh, on literally any other difficulty, he's a joke because he deals like no damage to you. But on critical mode, he's actually formidable just because of how fast he attacks. I wish you could pop potions along the there. And again, I'm not going to save that I beat him. I do want to lose to him to get that medal. But I want to show what happens when you do beat him. He's, at, he's surprisingly tough on critical mode. Again, on any other mode, he's an absolute joke. 
I'm not supposed to lose! <laughs> Sorry, Setzer. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> he was gonna say something snarky and then his friends were like, darn it. <laughs> he wouldn't look so sad, but he's still smiling. We're the struggle champion! Oh, it's the cute lady at the, ca at the candy shop. And the woman is too old to run a shop that still has it. And here we get, yeah, the champion belt. Increases fire, blizzard, and thunder resistance. If you're playing on, like, standard mode, sure, go for the champion's belt if you want. But I actually think the medal is better. And we get the struggle trophy. It's the trophy from the struggle tournament. It's decorated with four crystals. Well, now let's see what happens when we lose to Setzer. My life is a chicken pot. My life is a chicken pot pot. Is it now? Okay, we can't have this look too bad though. I gotta beat you up at least a little bit. This is hardly a gamble. This is hardly a gamble. You lose. <laughs> Thanks for the win, partner. This is for you. He's, a, he's actually, like, decent. He's like, hey, I appreciate it. And he actually does ha uh, help us. He didn't have to. <laughs> Aw, Pence is so nice. <laughs> Guys, you don't know how hard it is to defeat Setzer on critical mode. It looks easy, but it's actually really hard. <laughs> Seriously, that is actually the first time I've beaten Setzer, like, on critical mode. Even when trying to beat him. Like, <laughs> I had to pop free potions anyways. Anyhow, yeah, we get the medal. Increases strength. And we still get the struggle trophy, because again, we are top of the bracket for the newcomers. And that was just a bonus fight. And now the story continues as normal, whether you beat him or lose to him. That's a weird trophy, though. Oh. Don't just toss it to them when you're this high up. Uh, uh. Also, wow, those come off really easily. Are those supposed to come off, or did you just break the trophy? As promised. Thanks a ton, Roxas. One more treasure for us to share. You think all that would get the orange I've got one. a present too, for all of us. Whoa. Ice cream! Uh, 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 uh. This is why you don't slip on ice cream, kids. And don't hang out at the top of a clock tower. Kyrie, wait up! Okay, can I just mention... Okay, Kyrie is like this petite little thing, and she's got like the biggest honking feet in comparison to her body. Either that or she's just like, I like Mickey Mouse shoes. Also, I don't know any Japanese school where the skirt length is that short. Like most Japanese, like school uniform skirts go below your knees, just saying. Do you feel like going out to the island? Pattis and Walk are all wrapped up in their ball game, and they won't go with me. Not today. Sorry. Aw, why not? Do you remember those boys who used to hang out with us? It was only a year ago. Yeah. I wonder whatever happened to him. I sure miss him. He's far away. But I know we'll see him again. Sure. Of course we will. And the other boy? 
What other boy? The one who was with Riku and me all the time. We played together on that island. His voice always used to be there. And now it's gone. The Sinyans has a town. I can't think of his face or his name. I feel awful about it. So I told myself, I'm not going to the island until I remember everything about him. Are you sure you didn't make him up? Dominic? Oh, she's got a fever. Namine, what's happening to me? Well, you're about to die, Roxas, because you just fell off of a clock tower, and you're going to land on your head. Uh, oh, boy. What are we going to do with you, Roxas? Who are you? And that's not my name. I'm Kyrie. Kyrie, I know you. You're that girl he likes. Who? Please, a name. I'm Roxas. Okay, Roxas. But can you tell me his name? Blam! Roxas dies because he, <laughs> he hit the ground. You don't remember my name? Thanks a lot, Kyrie. Huh? Okay, I guess I can give you a hint. Starts with an S. Sour. <laughs> Kyrie, what's with people collapsing? Are you okay? Are you eating Pop Rocks too? That's pretty. I'm not knocking people with big feet, but these are, like, comically big. So are selfies, though. Kyrie. What's that? A letter. I wrote it yesterday. To the boy I can't remember. I said that no matter where he is, I'll find him. One day. And when I stopped writing, I remember we made a promise. Something important. This letter is where it starts, I know it. Wow. I hope he gets it. He will. It starts with an S. Right, Sora? Restoration at 79%. Yeah, if you're confused now and you've played Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories, imagine how confused you'd be if you hadn't played either of those. His progress is astounding. That guy just stole our crystal! He's like, that kid hit me with a stick. I am so gonna get, like, get him. <laughs> he just spends the rest of his life, like, <laughs> doing little things to annoy Roxas. So, what happened? Namine's encounter with Roxas put his heart in contact with Kairis. And that, in turn, affected Sora. You see? Namine. She's a wonder. She wasn't born like other nobodies. She can interfere with the hearts and memories of Sora and those aligned with him. But whose nobody is she? I could tell you. But first, perhaps you could tell me your true name. It's Ansem. <laughs> it's an honor, Ansem. Yeah, so uh, Ansem's back from the first game, even though we, like, killed him ten different times. 
Yeah, that's kind of weird. Also, I guess the guy we hit with a stick was Anson. No wonder he's like, being like, how dare he? <laughs> I will make him regret that greatly. I'll make him turn to darkness. <laughs> oh, this is also a Final Mix exclusive cutscene right here. <laughs> Look at no the way. It's too soon. You can't seriously get rid of him. It's an order. Why do you hesitate? You who has been ruthless towards those who turn their backs on the organization. But it's not like that. He didn't betray us. He can't come back. If he doesn't return, you know what you must do. Or you will face the consequences. So you'll turn me into a dusk. All right, I'll do it if that's what you want. Their chairs are so big. How do they, how do they even like get up there to sit down? Like how? <laughs> It's like, we're calling the organization meeting. Oh, but I have to sit in the top chair. This is why we built ladders into them. <laughs> I hate meetings so much. Yes, that's a comic that I have read, Awkward Zombie. Shout out to Katie who drew those. Yeah, you're funny. Anyhow. Man, Roxas has been falling off that clock tower for a very long time. <laughs> but it was all just a dream. <laughs> I'm dreaming. Today's the actual struggle day. <laughs> which parts were the dream? The fifth day. <laughs> yeah, this, this game is just bonkers at the beginning. What did we forget? <laughs> what? What did we forget? <laughs> did we eat too many Pop Rocks again? <laughs> She's like, are you kidding me, Roxas? You can't keep eating Pop Rocks like this. <laughs> We're very worried about your health. <laughs> Only three days left of summer vacation, so don't even mention that assignment. But we agreed we'd get it finished today. Yesterday, I fell off the station tower, didn't I? You wouldn't be here if you did. But man, that was a close one. Stop changing the subject. <sighs> okay already. You win. You'll do the homework. Stupid independent study. So, anybody got any bright ideas for a topic? Maybe we could study the stuff that's happening to me. <laughs> Maybe we could write a paper on the effects Pop Rocks have when you eat way too many of them. <laughs> Man, let me tell you what, this, I started to see some crazy stuff, like, people have been freezing in place, there have been these weird, like, street performers that, like, are contortionists with zippers for mouths, I went to a stained glass window place <laughs> and <laughs> destroyed a guy by making him smack his head into it, and now, like, oh my gosh, I fell off a clock tower, but I'm alive. <laughs> you know, the dreams and the, the guys in white. Forget it. Why? You know, things have been weird with you in the town since the photos were stolen, right? Well, tomorrow, we're all gonna search the town and find out what's been going on. Lots of people are helping out. All that for me? I'll go get some ice cream. <laughs> you guys do the assignment. I'll get the ice cream. <laughs> Man, they just, what is with people and ice cream in the Kingdom Hearts world? And if you think this is a lot of ice cream, like literally, 
the DS version, Kingdom Hearts Free 5 8 over two days, the icon for the game on the DS screen is ice cream. And like they literally eat it every day. It's insane. There's a strange rumor going around. Wanna hear it? <laughs> you know the stone steps at Sunset Station? We use them all the time without even thinking about it. But, and this is the weird part, the steps count different going up and down. Seriously? And there are six other weird stories like that. It's like the Seven Wonders of Twilight Town. We should investigate those for our school project. Pets, you're a genius. There might be other rumors going around too. Let's split up. I'm gonna look for the Seven Wonders. Olette and I will go find some new rumors. Come on! That leaves you and me, Roxas. Let's try the train first, to the station. But we haven't eaten our ice cream yet. All right, well, we got the medal. So that's cool, plus one strength for us. Yeah. And that's gonna do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thanks for watching everyone, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. It looks like we're gonna be exploring the seven wonders of Twilight Town, and I gotta admit, that's the most boring part of the tutorial. Yeah, but hopefully there'll only be two, maybe three more episodes of Roxas before we actually become Sora. So, look forward to that, thanks for watching again, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.